Hi guys, I'm back. And today we're going to take a detour from acrylic pouring. We're going to do some alcohol ink today. Uh, I promised a, a nice friend of mine over there in the Netherlands. Um, she hasn't worked with alcohol ink and, and uh, would like to try, but really doesn't know where to start. So I promised her I would do a tutorial. Hi, Liana. And um, so today we're going to do alcohol ink. So I've got here what I typically have for my group of supplies. Um, we'll run through those really, really quick. Obviously, you're going to need the alcohol ink. I've got an assortment of colors. I also have some white and black and some browns. And uh, I think that's about it. Um, but I don't, I'm not going to use you know, white or black or browns today, so we don't have them out. But we have an assortment of colors. These are from Ranger. Um, and I get these at Michael's. Um, and they last a long time. Um, for most people probably, but I tend to make kind of a muddy mess out of mine a lot of times. But um, I've had these bottles since the beginning of my um, experiments with alcohol ink. So, you know, they last a while. So, uh, let's see. Let me show you an example. Sorry, I'm getting in the way here. Of, it's really dusty. It's been, <laughs> wow, it's really dusty. It's been sitting there a while. <laughs> let me wipe that off with my shirt real quick. Guys, it's nice and shiny. It's been coated in resin. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. But um, I tend to do a lot of just sort of sunsets with my alcohol ink. Just because I like the blending of colors. And so um, this is kind of an example of what you can do. It's just on a, a, a ceramic tile. These work really great. Because if you mess it up, you just take your alcohol and clean it off. And you're good to go for the next one. Um, and I will paint my edges black so they look nice and neat. You don't have to do that. You can keep them the alcohol ink color. That works well too. Um, but there is is an example of what you can do with some alcohol ink. It's just a pretty little tile. I call it desk art. Um, so we're going to do another sunset today. We'll get to that in a minute. So we've got our alcohol inks here. We've also got, I've got 91% isopropyl alcohol. Just, you know, stuff I buy it at the regular the regular store. Um, I've seen people use like 97%, 99%. This works fine for me. Um, and it's what I can find without really searching hard for it. So uh, works great. Um, I've got some little medicine cups that um, I could, actually these are actually called condiment cups. You have like ketchup and stuff. Um, but you just reuse them over and over again. Just rinse them out with just a little bit of, of uh, alcohol when you're done with them and, and reuse them. I also have some alcohol pads that I will use to clean off my surface before I use it. Um, say for like the tile here, I'm going to wipe down my tile with an alcohol swab first, which is what I do when I'm painting on them as well. I just wipe them down with an alcohol swab and they're good to go. Then we've got some alcohol blending solution. Uh, it's also from Ranger and it's sold right where the, the alcohol inks are. And it, some people like using the regular alcohol. Some people like using the blending solution. Um, for this project today, I'm going to use the bl blending solution. I think it works a little better than the isopropyl alcohol, but it does cost probably about three times as much. So if you're looking for, you know, the basics, super cheap, just get you a few colors and get you a jar of isopropyl alcohol uh, and um, some of these, you know, some of these tiles instead of buying UPO paper because these are way cheaper than the UPO paper. Um, and as you can see, I also have UPO paper underneath here. And I'll show you a few examples. I've got a few examples in here of what I have done on the UPO paper. This was probably the first piece I did, just a little playing around. Just lots and lots of dots. And as you can see, when you, when you put a dot down, it just starts spreading. And once it starts hitting other colors a lot, it kind of turns black, which I kind of like. I like that real, just gives it kind of a contrast. And then there's another one of my sunsets, which is, this is pretty much what I've got in, in mind for today for our little project. Um, it's just supposed to be wildflowers with a sunset behind it. And then this is my little beachy one. I'm not really sure, you know, how beachy it looks, but you know, it's alcohol ink and it's, it's just fun to watch the colors melt together. So we're going to set those aside so nothing gets on them. We're not going to use the UPO paper today. I have something else in mind. I'll show you that in a minute. 
Um, if you want to block off sections so that your alcohol ink does not get on anything, I use electrical tape. It's real flexible so you can kind of, you know, work it in a wave pattern if you want. You know, you don't have to do exactly straight lines like you would masking tape. Plus the alcohol ink doesn't tend to go under uh, the uh, electrical tape like it does with masking tape and other types of tape. So this is what we're going to be using today. I also have a few old crummy paint brushes. As you can see, they're lovely colored from the alcohol ink and this one is just falling apart, but it works great for just dipping it in the alcohol and dotting across your thing. You know, you don't have to have a great paintbrush for this stuff. In fact, you know, as long as it has a good tip on it, that's really all you need. You can get one from, you know, cheapy store. I've got a straw. Sometimes I will blow the ink around. Um, you can also use, uh, you know, one of those little um, airbrush things that I use sometimes when I'm um, doing painting. And then uh, toothpicks. Toothpicks are invaluable. I usually use these to dip them in the alcohol and then dot. You can make really tiny little dots because as you will see when you work with alcohol ink, it spreads really quickly. So if you use something like a Q-tip with your alcohol, you're putting a lot of alcohol down on your surface. So if you want you know, little tiny dots, using the, the tip of a, a toothpick works really well. You can also use these for the alcohol ink, although they do soak up the alcohol ink. So um, you, you have to be careful about not wasting a bunch of alcohol ink with your toothpicks soaking it up. And then we also have, um, I like gold and silver uh, gilding paint. Now this stuff smells awful. It's terrible for your brain cells. So, um, you know, make sure that you're going through all the precautions, wearing a proper face mask that filters out all those nasty um, off gases and, um, you know, work in a well ventilated area, all that. Um, I would open these, but they smell terrible and I've got a headache right now. So, uh, but you can see through the bottom, this is what they look like. Um, and they're really pretty. I like to put them on, I wish I had the towel, but I don't have the towel with me right now. Um, but if you look back in my videos, I did a set of four tiles where I did like reds and oranges and I put the gold around the outside edges of the coaster tiles and they turned out really cool looking. So go back and check that one out if I can remember and if I can figure out how to do it, maybe I'll put like a link to that video at the end of this video, although I've never done it before. So don't hold me at my word on that one. <laughs> I'm really bad about um you know figuring out how to do all this kind of stuff it's not my not my forte so anyway you can use this to embellish your alcohol ink when you're all done with it and then of course i have gloves the alcohol ink will get into your fingernails it'll get all over your skin and it'll stain for days so remember just to wear your gloves all right so we've got all of our things i'm going to kind of set some of this stuff aside and uh I did hear from, you know, I thought alcohol inks, if you leave the caps open when you're working with them, they'll evaporate too quickly. But it turns out, um, I heard from, I actually heard from um, somebody that uh, makes the alcohol inks, the manufacturer, um, and they said that it's okay to leave your bottles open for a couple hours while you're working with them. They should be fine. So we're just kind of moving everything off the surface here, but where we can get to all of it. And we're going to show you what we're going to work with today. We've got one of these little, uh, it's called a ceramic cup kit. And um, I wait till these go on sale, like long after Mother's Day at Michael's. <laughs> then they're half off. They're only about $2 a piece, which is pretty good. I just buy whatever's left. There's usually only like three or four left in the store. And they're cute little cups. They're, they're great for kids, but I like to use them. Um, it's just a cute little it's supposed to be a mug, like I guess like a wine mug or something, but I like to use them for flowers. Um, if you put like a little small fat bunch of, of flowers in there, it's super, super cute. So it comes with this. It also comes with a little paintbrush. Save your little paintbrush. This is great for the alcohol ink as well. And, you know, it's kind of free. And then, of course, it comes with the little paints, but I just set those off to the side. Let the kids play with them later. Um, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to first... Take some alcohol and we're going to clean off the surface. And it doesn't have to be great, perfect, you know, just want to go a once over with it so that your um, surface is clean of fingerprints and dust because all of that will get in the way of your pretty alcohol ink moving around. 
Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to put my gloves on because I don't want to, you know, contaminate the surface that I just, uh, just cleaned off. And we are going to put some electrical tape around the edges. Let me get my scissors here. Make sure you have some scissors because electrical tape, unless you, unless you enjoy chewing on your tape. Um, now I may have to do this without my gloves on. I wasn't thinking, but I like to cut my, my tape at an angle so that when I bring it around, I can just sort of fold it together, fold it in. Now you just want one big piece. You don't want to have to piece your pieces together. There we go. <laughs> and hopefully I've cut that long enough. We don't need that piece. If I can get it off of me there. <laughs> All right. I, I I tried doing this one time with sort of a wavy edge and I didn't like it. So we're just going to do I can figure out which side is the sticky side. We're just going to do just a nice line around the top. I like to do it a little bit down from the top just because when I go to put my sealant on, the sealant that I use is not a, uh, a food friendly sealant. So I like to be able to go right above the alcohol ink, but then again, I don't think that, that piece might be long enough, might be barely, and you don't want wrinkles in it. So. Make sure you just kind of pull and stretch the, the, uh, your electrical tape. That's what is so awesome about this tape is that it's so stretchy and you can peel it off and if it's not working for you, just put it back down again. And it sticks really well. And if you stretch it, you can usually get a nice straight line. And if your line's not so straight, it's not a big deal. Anyway, like I was saying with the electrical tape, um, I like to have it a little bit further down from the top because I because then when I go to do the alcohol ink, I'm going to put another line of tape along this top edge and goes over this way. That way I don't get any of my spray down in my cup to upset my flowers. There we go. That's a little better. You want it to be, you know, fairly perfect, but obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Nothing in the art world is ever perfect. I keep moving it upwards. It's probably going out of focus. I don't know. I'm still too low. There we go. I'm just trying to make sure it's it really catches that line just right. Now, if you screw, if you screw, if you mess up, no big deal. You can fix it when you're all done. Okay, so there we go. That is our nice line. So I'm gonna just sort of mash it down real well. You know what? It just occurred to me I did that wrong. <laughs> I just put that on there so that we. Um, like as if we were doing the uh, the top spray. I don't know what I was thinking. So let's peel that off. Maybe we'll edit this piece out. Okay, let's try that again. All right, take two. Here we go. All right, nice big line. Nice big long piece. Let's start it the right way this time. Okay, this is a little harder to do considering you don't know. You have to sort of use um, the dent where your your tape is catching the top lip to sort of see that you're putting it down straight. This is hard to do with gloves. I don't usually do this with gloves on. That's better. Okay. Still not straight. That little piece right there just does not want to be. Um, 
if you kind of curve it up a little bit that way when your other piece comes through you can go back over that all right so let's continue on and if it's not perfect just peel it up and stick it back down again I hope my head is not like in the way here and you can go back over this later on if your line is not straight you can very carefully go back along the edge with a q-tip very very carefully like our line is getting fatter and fatter I do believe it is that's okay oh Okay, it really did get fat, didn't it? We'll just go around it until it comes back to looking about right. I think that's it right there. There we go. Okay, so. You want to mash it down really good along that line so hopefully your alcohol ink won't go under there but if it does not a big tragedy now some people have those um, those uh, tumbler spinners but those things are expensive I don't know how unless you're doing a bunch of those tumblers it's not worth it to invest in one of those just for something like this because this works really well with just your and tuck that under so that your hands aren't gonna but I just sort of you know I'll just tilt it and I'll, I'll hold on to the bottom and just sort of tilt it around you know twist it around as I'm going along so we're gonna open up our little alcohol inks real quick I like to just leave the cap on just to just because I still don't trust that it's not all working its way off you know drying out plus if it tips over and it you know happens to splatter it won't go everywhere because usually I don't know about y'all but I have a work surface that is covered in all sorts of other things and alcohol ink stains pretty well now I don't know if we're going to use all these colors we may we may not but they're there just in case now um, a rule in art that you guys might want to follow um, is first of all don't say um every five seconds <laughs> that really doesn't have anything to do with art that has to do with speech uh, rule of thumb for a nice art piece is the rule of thirds which means you want balance to your artwork so just like in poor paintings where I, I talk about how it doesn't seem balanced usually um, say like this we've got it feels balanced to me we've got some little stuff up here we've got some big chunky stuff through here some bright orange plus you sort of got three main sections if you put a line through here and a line through there you know you've got this sort of you know multicolored area then we got some chunky turquoise some chunky orange so kind of you know divide it up into thirds um, also with with the dutch pours you know it's you know this is going to be paler this side is going to be a little pale and then you have the main area through here that's just you know what I kind of like to do those are paintings however that will not make it um, into a final uh, they will end up being cut up and put into jewelry pieces so I will be doing some more uh, resin pieces um, I just did a couple of pieces this pair and this pair are both um, going to be earring pairs and uh, those Ella did and those Nora did and then I did this little set right here this is actually my favorite one of my favorite little pieces it's really pretty so this will be a pendant and two earrings um, so if you guys are interested in you know my resin pendants there they are so let's make sure you guys are still in focus I think no of course not you're not at all I don't know how long you've been out of focus, but hopefully not too long. 
All right, so we're gonna start with, I start with the top and go down. I'm thinking maybe let's do, um, since I wanna do a little bit of purple down through here, I think we're gonna start the sunset with just some red at the top instead of some purple. And you know, there's different ways of doing this, but this is gonna be sort of like the drip method. And I'm just gonna kinda of run it down, let it run down and just kinda of draw with it. And you can see how it kind of spreads. That's what you want it to do. And as you can see, we've got it. I like to make sure I fill it all in to begin with while it's still wet. Because it kind of eats away at itself um, if it's dry. As you can see, like when you do another drop, see how it's pushing? And you just kind of let it do its thing until that part dries. We'll let it sit there for just a second. All right, so we're gonna put in some orange. This is sunset orange. And the red was watermelon. Now this we're just gonna sort of, and you can see how it kind of eats into the red there. And it kind of blends kind of neat. And don't worry if it goes off kilter, you can always fix it later. But if you just kind of, you don't even have to squeeze these. If you squeeze, it's gonna come, way too much is gonna come out. You just kind of touch it and it'll come out. And if you get too much on there, no big deal. You can always wipe it off. Just take an alcohol swab and wipe it off. And see like down here, it's getting way too low. So I'm gonna take an alcohol swab and wipe some of that off. Okay, we're almost around. And it's actually kind of eaten into my red. So I'm probably gonna go back and put a little bit of red there. Did you see how that orange went all the way down there? I don't want that. I'm gonna set it upside down real quick. I'm gonna take a little bit of my red while that orange is drying and then we'll take that. But you see how when it, it sort of blends into it, it it makes a, I don't know, to me it looks makes it look kind of like clouds. But watch what happens when we put the red down again. See how it blends back into the orange? You just kind of want to tap it so that it kind of blends and makes an interesting pattern. You can even do it back on the red. And you want it to blend down so it looks kind of, you know, like a sunset. The whole idea of this is a sunset. And if it's traveling too fast, just blow on it. It'll dry pretty quick. Okay, I'm liking it at the moment. Liking that top. Set it down. Put that lid mostly on. I don't know, I kind of want some purple at the top. I'm gonna put a little bit of purple just at the very top. Actually, this is not really purple. It's, um, it's a pink color. I'm trying to decide if I really want pink or purple. I kind of like the purple. Nah, no purple. Let's just stick with what we've got. Okay, so uh, we just used the sunset orange down here. And before I wipe that off, I'm gonna go ahead. This this color is called butterscotch. And it's more of an orangey yellow. So I like to use it before I use yellow. It just seems more like a sunset color to me. And I'm going to blend it in by just sort of tapping just lightly. And you can see how quickly these colors kind of mix. 
and you can blow on it and blow it in different directions if you want. That works really a lot better when you're on the flat surface. You see how it's turning kind of black right there almost? Take it and blow it while it's still wet. This is gonna be a real, real dark sunset, but that's okay. I don't know, it's kind of cool to me. I'm just kind of blowing out these dark areas where it, it looks a little too dark. We may come back in and just dot a few dots through there. Okay, so I'm happy with that so far. Now we're going to take a little bit of this yellow. This is sunshine yellow. And just sort of dot it along that butterscotch so that that butterscotch is not quite so deep. I might even come back up here a little bit into the red and see how that kind of turns it little bit whoop that's a little too bright right there for me and I'm just blowing that down while it's still wet so it doesn't create such a dark line up there even though I really do kind of like the dark lines Although I've got too much of a dark line going there. It's too, too hard for me. So you can either take your alcohol at this point. I'll show you that in just a second. Because if you dot your, your alcohol, it'll move it around. But you can also take your regular alcohol and touch that. And I'll show you what happens when you do that. Okay, so we're going to leave that like that. And it's rolling away, so I'll <laughs> set it up right. Okay, so I'm going to use some of this alcohol blending solution. Um, it does come with its own little little uh, applicator tip. Um, but if you want to use it in smaller amounts, just put it in one of these little, little cups. And then you can use like your toothpick with it. Because it does come out kind of a lot to me. It comes out pretty fast. So I'll just put just a teeny tiny bit of it in my little cup and I'm going to take a toothpick I'm going to set it there, set it kind of tilted and get my little toothpick whoops, not cooperating <laughs> there we go and you just touch it down and if you watch it will start eating away at the alcohol Maybe. I don't have much on my. I think we're going to use a tooth, uh, paintbrush for this. I don't have much in that cup. But you can paint it on with a paintbrush. And see how it kind of eats away at that darker line? And you can slowly see it spreading. See how it's eating away at things? And then you can either leave it like that or you can come back. And you can add more alcohol into that. I like to add it just to where the dark, <laughs> to where the dark lines are, especially if I'm doing a sunset, because you know you don't really see those dark lines too much in the sunset. And if you blow on it, okay, there we go. I'm gonna make sure you guys are still in focus. Yes, we are. Okay. Let's actually get a little closer too. Maybe just a pinch. There we go. I don't want to get too close because then my camera kind of has a really bad angle uh, focus. It doesn't really really focus very well. So we're going to take just a little bit more and just sort of, I don't know, dot it around. Because we want all this to blend and look like a sunset. And it will wipe off all your alcohol ink if you're not careful. Wow. I'm not sure what that's about. 
Who knows? You know, just dot it around. And then we go back with our alcohol ink. And you just play until you get the kind of look that you're looking for. I think this is a little... It's okay so far. I think we're going to go back in with some more. And then, um, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, have a little bit of alcohol in your, just a little, um, cup. That way you can rinse out your paintbrush and um, it'll be ready for the next color. Okay. Set that over there so I don't dump it on the floor. I think we're going to do maybe a little bit more red on the top. Scissors out of the way there. Well, they're really not too much. Maybe one right there. Okay. I don't really think we need too much more red. Just kind of dot it. If you just blow on it if you want it to dry fast. Otherwise, it'll just keep spreading. Okay, I think we're going to leave the red like that. I'm kind of liking it. It kind of looks, even though it's reds and oranges, it kind of looks kind of stormy to me, which I, I like. I think we're going to put a little bit more yellow down along the bottom. Okay. Sorry, guys, that this video is running a bit long, but... Yeah, this, this particular one is sort of a long project here. Just dot it up wherever you want to. That's the fun part about alcohol inks, is that uh, watching them like eat into other colors and seeing what they do. You see how it'll push, you know, if you got something ugly, put a color down and see what happens. And if you don't like what it does, then, you know, try something different. Wipe it off and start over again. You got some really bright yellow right there. If you just let it sit there and eat away at your color, you'll get these pockets of gorgeous. If you want to get rid of some of it, let it run down. Then you can wipe it away. Blow on a little bit. Okay, so I think I've got I think I've got my sunset area pretty well I kind of want that to eat in and leave it a little more yellow. I think we've got a really dark lovely orangey glowy sunset sunset going on there so I'm gonna let that go back down so now what I'm gonna do because I've got this really cool looking color going on I'll let it sit there for a second and I'm gonna take an alcohol swipe here and I'm gonna wipe it off see how how easy it just goes right away so you got to be careful. You don't want to wipe it too close to your colors, because if you it the alcohol will grow into it, it will sort of melt your alcohol ink away. You have to be super careful about what you're wiping off. Do you want to get rid of all that? And yes, I do. So, so you can see how it's eating away. You have to be super careful. But you can see how easily this stuff wipes off. So, you know, if you hate what it's doing right now, which I don't, I like it, um, you just start over. Wipe it all off. When you think it's saturated, set it down, get another one. And it doesn't take a lot to get rid of this. Looks like we're going to be doing mostly sky okay I think that's about good I'm gonna take one more wipe off the 
the yellow that's in there that's still there because that will discolor your green or blue or whatever color you're putting in there but with the sunset what we're doing right here you know you kind of want the green to pick up a little bit of those oranges and yellows okay and I can see we got a little bit of put those out of the way wash that off sort of all right so we're gonna put a little bit more yellow in there just to catch that and you have to be careful because you can this stuff will uh, wipe off very easily from the surface before you're done kind of ended up with a line there I don't want that you can just wipe the stuff off with your hand so you got to be really careful okay that'll be good enough now we got to go back and wipe that off because that's bothering me we don't want that To come down into our <laughs> green there we go okay so that's it for that all right I'm gonna grab a few more alcohol pads just in case I need them so just make sure you have a bunch on hand and let's see let's go for we're gonna do the green the bottom green first so I'm thinking I want some super dark so we're going to start with whatever this is. This is called Stream. And, oh yeah, that's a pretty color. Now we will be mixing it with the green, so don't worry. It's not going to stay that color. And don't worry about getting it on the bottom of your thing. You will want to wipe that off when you're done. Okay, that's good. I like that color. I love that color. See, you just play with these colors. They're just fun. Uh, I don't think we're going to use any of this little turquoisey color. This is called Mermaid. So let's go for some green. This is more of an olive green. This is called Lettuce. And this is what I want to go into that blue color. Look at that. Look at the color it's making. And just dot it on there. Look how much fun this is. You guys have to try some alcohol ink if you haven't tried it yet. Just start with a couple colors because they, yes, they are expensive. You know, it's like 12 bucks, 12, 13, 14 dollars for three little containers of it, but they do last for a long time. Just make sure you don't hold it upside down so it, all the green doesn't go into your pretty yellows and reds. Make sure it's dry before you um, move on to the next making sure I've got the bottom coated okay let's go on to a paler green this one is citrus It's just a little paler. And you know what? If we're washing away that green at the bottom, no big deal. Set it down and drop it. Because we want this to look kind of grassy, so not real. It's not real important, you know, how. Okay, now let's go back and work with a little bit more of that dark, uh, the stream color. Because we kind of washed a lot of that off, but I really like it. I want the bottom to be kind of dark. Sorry, I keep moving it out of the camera, but this is one of those things you kind of have to really see what you're doing. 
really see where you're headed. I'm liking it so far. Let's put one up there. Up there, there. Here we go. I've got a nice dark bottom to it, which is what I like. You now it's grass. It's supposed to be darker towards the bottom. Oops, don't put your finger on it. Okay, I'll set that down. We're going to go back to the green, our uh, lettuce green. Just a little bit here and there. Make sure you have plastic down on your table because you will ruin your table if you don't. Okay, I'm actually kind of liking the way it is now. I'm thinking I'm going to leave that. Let's put a little more there. Just maybe a little bit more right there. Just kind of blow it out of the way. If you don't like what it's doing. Okay, we're going to leave that. Now, when it comes to creating the flowers, um, you can either, you know, pour it on here like I've been doing and let it roll around, or you can take something else and dot it on there. At this point, I'm going to take my paintbrush and probably dot it on there just because uh, I don't want it to pour out. And this stuff comes out of these little bottles so fast. And we're going to try and do sort of a mixture of a purple and blue. So I'm just going to put a little bit of my alcohol ink in there. We're going to do the blue first. Set it in my little thing. Tip it over like that. And we're just going to dot it around. And you can see how small because you don't want those dots to be too big and you don't want it just pouring everywhere. They are going to blend into the yellow and the green, which is perfectly fine. It's kind of like little blue bonnets or something. I don't know. And you want to go down a little bit into the green, but not too much. go back over them if you want as well. The further away you put them, the less sort of uh, piled up they get. Um, because if you put all the wet stuff down at one time, it blends into each other and it's not really spots anymore. And what I kind of like is the dark line that's going to end up along here. Possibly. And you just keep working it until you get what you want. And if you hate it, just wipe it off and start over. This is a little easier to do when you're doing it on UPO paper or a tile, you know, because it's a flat surface and you don't have to keep moving it. So try it on a tile first. Or, you know what, get one of these little cups and try it on. These are just little ceramic cups, super cheap um, when they go on sale. Of course. I don't buy anything that's not on sale. I don't have the money for that. <laughs> so we're gonna now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do uh, some purple. So set that down. Rinse your little paintbrush off. It is really soaked with the blue. And I uh, also have a just like a uh, a dry washcloth that way you can take your paintbrush to see how that just dried off a little bit so let's do some let's do some dark no nope, that's blue that's really dark blue let's do some purple first move that cup over and this stuff does dry really fast in your little cup so don't put too much in there um, you don't want to waste this stuff
All right, so we're going to go in and just dot some dots in there. And there, everything's going to blend. It is. And that's okay. Because this is just an abstract. You know, it's not like a realistic version of flowers. Just an abstract. I don't want them to stay dots, so I'm happy if they blend together. Um, I just like it. I like the control I have, the some some small bit of control I have when I do it with the paintbrush. And if you don't like this line right here, you can also go through and take your you know your blending solution or your alcohol, and you can go over that. You know, just sort of dot it in there and it'll kind of wipe away some of that. But I just take my paintbrush and go over it with the flower colors. And again, like I said, it's just an abstract, so please don't get upset if it doesn't look exactly like a sunset to you, or it's wrong colors, or, you know, doesn't look like flowers, that's okay. It's just supposed to be a pretty. You're just supposed to have fun with this. Because, let me tell you, alcohol ink can be very stressful. It really honestly can. Um, if you don't, if you think that everything is going to be a success with this when you first try it, it won't be. You're going to make lots of mud. You're going to lose your patience. <laughs> Even if you're someone that has a lot of patience, which is not me. But, um, yeah, alcohol ink can be tough to work with, especially if you have this idea of what it's supposed to look like in your head and it doesn't end up looking like that. Don't have an expectation. You know, just the only expectation you should have is an expectation to have fun. We got some yellow flowers going on down there. I don't like those, but they can kind of, if we fuss with them, they can kind of turn into little red flowers. See? And we changed the color. We just sort of brushed it a little bit. Do the same up here, where you can break up that line. Get you a little more alcohol ink. Put it down in there. There you go. This is a super dark one, but I kind of like it. I like that dark color we've created, that sort of, I don't know what that is, but it's really pretty. That blending of the green with the purple, I did not expect that. We're kind of mixing a little bit up here with the sunset color, I'm putting some down here. It's interesting, I like it. So we're kind of running out of purple here, so I can either refill it or I can say it's done. Not entirely sure it's done yet, though. We picked up a little bit of that blue off out of the corner there. There we go. Okay, so I'm almost liking it. It's almost done for me. A little bit more of that. All right, guys, that for me is totally done. I'm liking it. Let's put a little more up here just to sort of break up that whatever that is because you don't want lines across there. You really don't. That to me is, you know, bothersome. Let's put some more dark up here. There we go. So that we have that, that interesting dark color kind of spread out everywhere. Okay. All right, guys, that's going to that's gonna be it for this pretty little piece. I'm going to rinse out my brush in my alcohol solution. Make sure when you're all done, you uh, get a fresh little cup of, of the alcohol and rinse your brush out really well. But that, my friends, is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I'm going to take an alcohol swab probably to get most of that off and then I'll take the paintbrush and gently go around the edges so that it doesn't creep back up here. 
but I like to have this bottom nice and clean. So once this is dry, we're going to take off the tape from around the edge and you can see that that top edge. We probably could do that now, but I'm a little, a little hesitant to do it. But let's see, where did we, up here, I'm not even sure I can get to it. Okay, well, we'll come back uh, and we will tackle that. Um, We'll tackle that in just a few moments. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and just peel that, peel that off if I can. All right, so I've managed to peel the edge of this finally. I'm gonna peel it off and show you guys, hopefully, <laughs> how badly it did not leak under here. Although I see that the red has gone under there, but that's okay. You can see we've got mostly a good line there. That, and it always does that um, right where I have put the tape on there. So, what I will do is take a little alcohol swab and very, very carefully, if I can get it out of there, wipe that off, get all the way to the inside of that little rim. All right, so we're going to very, very carefully try and wipe that away without catching the red. Now we need another, sometimes you go through a couple of alcohol swaps because you don't want to transfer more, more uh, alcohol onto your little cup there. And this is much easier when you don't have these have these stupid gloves on. Ah. I can't do this with gloves on, it's too difficult. Okay. Gotta take a glove off here. Okay. So very delicately on the corner along there. And this will take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause that. Y'all don't need to see me do that anymore. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I have taken um, around the edge. And actually, instead of using the alcohol swipes, what I did was I took my paintbrush. And you have to have a super steady hand. And I just barely went along this edge right there to clean up that edge. You have to go very slowly, you have to have a very steady hand, and you have to rinse out your brush every three seconds and wipe it on a towel. And then do one more swipe, rinse it out, wipe it on a towel, one more swipe. Otherwise, um, and your paintbrush needs to be fairly dry with the alcohol on it. If it's soaking wet, it'll soak down into your drawing. So then what I did was I went ahead and put some electrical tape around the outside at the top. I left a little bit of ring so that the spray will be uh, past the alcohol ink. I stuffed some newspaper in the bottom, or uh, in, in the bowl, and uh, that way the spray won't get down into the vase, so it won't affect your, um, your, um, you know, your vase of flowers, if that's what you want to use it for. Um, and then on the bottom, of course, I just cleaned it off with some alcohol swipes and then just put my initials in, in the year. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside. Obviously, it's a well-ventilated area, and I'm going to spray it down. I'm going to give it three good coats of, let me see if I can find my spray that I use. I have to crawl over the dog. And this is what I like to use, uh, the Krylon UV Resistant Clear Acrylic Coating. This is also, uh, incidentally, what I spray my paintings with. Um, when you spray with this stuff, obviously, you really have to do it outside. Um, you know, wear all your protective gear and leave whatever you've done, you know, out in the outside laundry room, you know, in a building somewhere that's not next to your house because this stuff will smell and it usually smells for at least a good week. The off gases from this uh, are pretty strong. So um, 
I hate to use it, but it really, for me, it's the best stuff that I have found so far. So uh, this is what I'm going to spray it with. Um, you can usually spray it, you know, every couple of, you know, every five minutes, five to ten minutes. <coughs> so uh, we'll be back in in a few minutes and show you the finished product. Okay, so what we have here is a dried piece. It's mostly dried. It's a little tacky, but I figured I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. First of all, I'll take that out of there. And you can see we have no alcohol ink at all on there. So we're just going to kind of peel that off. And the, the uh, as you can see, the electrical tape comes off really super easy. So there we go. Here's our finished little piece. Um, for some reason, when I sprayed the spray, it actually gave it sort of a, a speckly look. Um, and that may have something to do with the fact that I, oh, I got a little alcohol ink right there. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but because it was under the tape, we can go back and wash that off. But I'm not really sure how that little speckled look got to it. Probably because I didn't let the alcohol ink cure for several days on the thing. Even though it felt dry, it probably wasn't quite dry. So just leave your pieces to set for, you know, typically I do this for, um, I'll let it sit for a week or so before I spray it. Um, just like I do with my paintings. But I actually kind of like it. It's like, gives a little bit of texture to it. it looks It looks kind of neat to me. So there's our finished piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little something about alcohol ink. Um, I'm definitely no expert. Uh, so, you know, if you want to learn a lot more about alcohol ink and a lot more different techniques, um, go check out a bunch of other channels because there's alcohol ink on, you know, everybody works in alcohol inks. Um, so, you know, there's a million videos out there. So go check out some more videos. I hope you enjoyed this. There's your pretty for today. Um, and uh, someone asked me the last time, are, are your pieces for sale? Yes, everything I do is for sale. So if anyone's interested in this piece, please just, uh, you know, shoot me a, an email or I'll leave it in the comments below. Um, an email is definitely a better way to get a hold of me. So there's your pretty for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial of mine. And um, just, you know, if you want to play with alcohol inks, really it is all about playing uh, for a long while so that you find what works best for you. So thank you for supporting my channel. Um, thank you. Definitely thank you for watching the ads for me. I get a little bit of ad revenue, as I've told some of you before. Um, and that's what keeps my channel going. Um, you know, you, as you guys can see, we don't have a lot of subscribers. I'd love to make it to 100,000 and get that, you know, that, that really cool YouTube plaque. But uh, we're kind of kind of stuck on 15,000. So if y'all share my videos, that would help a lot. And I like my videos. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. You know, you don't have to watch every video, but if you subscribe, you know, you might see something cool, something, you know, that might give you a few ideas. So, um, yeah. So I love you all. And uh, thank you for all your support. Let's see if we can get that to stay. There we go. And I hope wherever you are on the planet, you're having an awesome awesome lovely day. Uh, see you later. Bye.